guys, what's up my awesome YouTube family? Okay, so today I'm going to be making the cheesy bacon chicken pinwheels. I will have this recipe linked down below in the description box. Um, the ingredients we'll need are, it's down there, we need uh, 12 ounces of cream cheese softened, which I have, one cup sour cream, one package of dry ranch mix, five slices of bacon cooked and crumbled, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, one and one half cups of cooked and shredded chicken breast, uh, one fourth cup hot sauce, and six large tortilla shells. Now, I'm not gonna be using hot sauce because I can't have anything hot or spicy. Um, I'm overly sensitive to heat and to spice, and so I will not be using that ingredient. We'll see how it turns out. I am making these for a meeting, a meeting at our church tomorrow, so I want to make them tonight, and they can sit in the fridge overnight. It says here, um, well, each shell up to the refrigerator for one hour, up to 24 hours. So I just put them in the fridge overnight, and then slice them into pieces tomorrow. So, let me show you what all we have here. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to uh, crumble up the bacon. <laughs> So, over here we have, this is not going to be a freaking angle, guys. I apologize in advance. I just don't have a whole lot of cabinet or countertop space, so I apologize. The ingredients say, in a large messy mold is what we have here. It says, throw it together the cream cheese, which I have right here on this plate. Let me get a spoon. I have 12 ounces of cream cheese. That's like a, a bar and a half. So, come on. Yeah, I right. I've left it out for a few hours. It's not as soft as I like it to be, but it's not like, you know, like really cold out of the fridge. It's been sitting out for a few hours, so hoping it's okay. I guess we'll find out now. There we go. Okay, so we have our so it's mixed together the cream cheese and sour cream. I just bought this um right here, so uh, eight ounce, yeah, eight ounce uh, container. It's basically like one cup by itself, so I'm just going to add the whole thing in there. Because it's close enough. Hang on, let me get a little spoon here. Hope you can see if it's okay, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. See a little bit that way? Okay. Sour cream is done. It's added. Um, let's see, cream cheese, sour cream, and dry ranch mix into well combined. Alright, hang on for a second here. Okay, so I just got the uh, Hidden Valley Buttermilk Recipe Ranch. This is one, one packet here. I'm going to add this. Alright, come on. Sorry guys. Okay, couldn't get open for a little bit. All right, so we have the sour cream, the cream cheese, and this is a dry ranch mix here. We're adding one packet, it says, um, and mix into well combined. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna sprinkle this dry ranch packet out here. Make sure it's all out. Okay, mess my knowledge, it's all, it's all in there together. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mixture and mix this up with my, my mixture. Let me get that. Hang on for a sec, guys. Okay, my mixer, grab my beaters. This mixture plugged in. All right, I'm cleaning over here. It makes it easier. Okay, get my beers in here. Okay, Ooh, you smell that ranch. Smell that ranch. Whew. Okay. Okay, I hope those are insecurely. Okay, I'm just going to beat this for a little bit, just to get a little mixed mix together. It's a lot of cream. I 
think, right? Yep, both we'll speed to hell, all right. Okay. Woo, all right. Let me get the beaters out if I can. Okay, unplug the mixture. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, let me do some pounds in here to get these off. Get some rid of this off. Whoop, hello. That's it. Can I just drop the beater back in there? Get a spatula, scrape it down a bit. Hold on, guys. Okay. Get the spatula, scrape it down. Okay. Okay. Alright. Scrape the excess off the spatula and it back down in there. Okay. Alright, so we have the sour cream, the cream cheese. And dry ranch mix combined. Stir in bacon, cheddar cheese, and shredded chicken. Okay, so bacon's right here. Well, I usually, you guys, I usually would just like uh, cut it up into little strips. I just prefer that because when I try to crumble it, some of it doesn't crumble well. So <laughs> I just do a little strip. So I'm gonna put this in now. Put in the bacon. I got good bacon this time, not the kind of, that shreds apart in little screens. You don't remember that. I'll make a video to where that happened down below. <laughs> it was not fun. It was horrible. Okay. Bacon in there. Alright. Okay. Got the bacon. Um. Cheddar cheese. And it calls for two cups of cheddar cheese. I had the Kroger brand. Mild cheddar in two cups. So, let's see, where's the chair line here? Okay. This is the chair here. There it is. I can't find the, the line to start carrying. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add both two cups of, of the shredded cheddar cheese. There we go. I'll stir it all together once it's all in there. Okay. Cheddar cheese. All right. And the shredded chicken. This is a cup and a half of cooked shredded chicken. Right there. And put that in there. Okay. Boom. I'm not going to add the hot sauce. It says to add one fourth cup hot sauce. I'm not going to add that ingredient. I realize it might make it taste terrible by not adding it, but I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> so, <coughs> now some scrubs all together. Just on camera best I can, guys. Sorry if you're not seeing this too well, but back a bit. best I can do. I'm going to have to kind of hold on to all the current. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hang on. All right. I'm trying to mix it up here, but it's very, very difficult to do so. The cream cheese wasn't quite as soft as I need it to be, and so it's a little bit hard to stir up, but I'm trying. Let me get this off camera and I'll come back, guys. Sorry. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, um,. I got it mixed up best I could. It's pretty much all evenly like incorporated together. Next step is <clears throat> um, divide the cream cheese mixture between the tortilla shells and spread the mixture out evenly. So I have, um, it, it says to get six large tortilla shells. I wasn't sure how large. I always buy the uh, 
the soft taco size. This is a Mama Lupe's brand. Sorry, I can't see that. Mama Lupe's brand. Um, I just got 10 of them. It comes in a 10 count pack. So I'm going to just use six of these tortilla shells. I'm going to open them up here. And then we'll move on to that step. Hang on for a second. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six of them. Boom. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. There's six of them there. Alright. Okay, so that means that's ten. This is four in the bag. Okay. Whew! Alright. Down for a second here, guys. Okay, we got there. Put this away. I'm trying to see how I'm going to set this up here. Grab a plate. Turn that on. Oh my, there we go. <laughs> I always use the wrong button. Okay. Give me okay, some. guys, this is the best setup I can I can do. So, hopefully, you can see the mixture here. You can see the tortilla shells over here. I'm gonna use this spoon that I put the sour cream scoop of sour cream out with. So, to use that, and again, it says to uh, divide the mixture between the tortilla shells and spread out evenly. So, okay, spread this out evenly. A little bit harder to do because the cream cheese, like I said, isn't softened as much as I'd like it to be. To make sure I get, you know, a decently generous amount here in each one. Let me get my pan out that I'm going to be using. <coughs> Here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Pam in the bottom, just not because I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, go ahead and roll this up. Roll up, roll each shell up tightly and refrigerate for one hour up to 24 hours. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put that over here, push up against there, so we'll open back up. Okay, here we go. I keep on going now. Oops, let me get that out of there. Okay. Can you see that okay? Kind of? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> I have such limited countertop space, guys, honestly. Okay. I think these are going to be incredible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep them rolled up overnight. Then tomorrow before the meeting, I'll cut them into the uh, one inch pieces. So, that's what I'm going to do. I know I'm piling this up a bit thick, but I just want to make sure I have a generous amount on each one. Okay. Roll up. You see me rolling it? Yeah. Okay. You see me rolling. Hopefully you're not hating. Okay. If you are, it probably just means you're hungry, and I, I, I have no problem with that. <laughs> Bonk. Spread it out. Okay. Evenly here. I try to. Okay. Bonk. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those shells rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Pinwheels. Okay. Here's a separate. Okay. You never know when tortillas are decide to stick together and ruin your plan. So, to make sure that this one wasn't stuck down. Already pretty 
basic, so I'll stop there. I don't know, guys. It might be more here than just for for six tortillas. <laughs> uh, boop, 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 boop. Roll it up tightly. Put it in a pan. I want to sleep in the pan overnight. Cut them in the morning. Ugh. Yeah, when I did my grocery haul, I mentioned a recipe I was going to be making, and people were like, I hope you're going to record it. Please say you're going to record it. Please say you're going to make a video. I'm like, yes, I'm going to make a video about it. So, <laughs> hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media. Comment. Subscribe if you want, if you like this kind of stuff. I, do, I can't do this stuff all the time, but I try to do it as often as I can. Okay. Yeah, I think we need a couple more tortillas, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm not stuffing these full enough. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Bonk. Stay on the plate. Why do you stay on the plate? Stay on the plate. Cooperate. Come on. Be a team player here. There's no I in team. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do at least two more. Okay. I'm get two more out. I'll take them all out. I'll just take them all out. Make sure this is not stuck. Okay, it was a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Boom. Boom. One thing I like about this recipe, there really isn't a whole lot of, like, actual, like, cooking or baking to do. You know what I mean? The, the chicken has already been cooked and shredded, and the bacon, you just cook it, you just fry it up on both sides, and then crumble it, or just cut it into strips like I do. There's no like, there's no like 30 minutes of baking or preheat in the oven. It's a simple, easy recipe to have. You don't want to do a whole lot of like cooking or baking or a lot of prep work. It's a very simple recipe to do. Okay, and I think one more. That'll be it. That'll be it. This one's not stuck. Nope, it's not. Okay. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I might need to use a whole pack of, of, of tortilla shells. Because obviously I messed up somehow. <laughs> or maybe I'm just not stuffing them as full as I should be, but... I'm doing what I'm comfortable with, okay? Back off. You guys are like, Kimberly is insane. She's talking to herself. Well, of course, I talk to myself all the time. I want expert advice. I listen to myself, too. And I, I argue with myself. I disagree with myself, I question myself, all that stuff. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. I think we're gonna have to do one more. I think we're gonna have to do one more. I'm gonna try and, I don't know, I'm gonna try and do this or not. Let me take half. I don't know, guys. <laughs> it says it's both are fitting the six large, well, oh, maybe she's got bigger tortilla shells, huh? Maybe I should have done that, but I just, I always get this off taco size. It's my preference. It's what I prefer. So, this is how we're doing this. We're just doing, we're just using all the tortillas in a tin can. If you, if you guys decide to use the soft taco size tortilla shells, you're going to need to use all ten. To get the big, humongous, gigantic, enormous size, then yeah, you can probably use six. But this is going to be, it's going to be a full ten here. Okay, smush over, guys. Make room. Smush over. Make room. Smush over. Make room. Okay, here we go. Bonk. And. Bonk. And that's it. Okay. Woohoo. Bold empty. Okay. Let me just spread this out. This is going to be a monster size, like, gigantic. Yeah, I obviously messed up and didn't get big enough taco shells or tortilla shells, but again, guys, I'm just I'm just used to using the soft taco size, and I thought that'd be big enough, I thought it'd be fine. 
So you will, if you do this and you stop taco size, you want me to use all 10 tortillas. So, yeah, you got this. Just scoop that in there. And then. Okay. Good. All right. Yeehaw. Okay. I'm calling it good enough. I'm calling it good enough. Alright. I'm gonna sit this. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is what this is what we're dealing with here. They got kind of smushed up in the middle. But that's okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, I'm going to, um, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to put, just as a security measure, I'm going to put some foil on top, and then just put it in the fridge, leave it overnight, because they said you can refrigerate up to 24 hours, so, that is what I'm going to do. And it won't be a full 24 hours, I'll be, it'll uh, be, the medium will be, Anyway, that's 24 hours, so we'll be fine. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to put these in the fridge, and I'll come back to you tomorrow when I'm ready to cut them up in one inch slices, and you'll get to see what they look like before I take them to uh, church. So I'll see you. I'll see you later. Hey, guys. Okay, so here's what the cheesy bacon chicken pinwheels look like. I just got home from the ladies' meeting at church, and it was a big hit. I had uh, several people ask for the recipes. I'll be bringing the copies of the recipe to them tomorrow. If you want the recipe, it's linked down below in the description box. And so, this is what they look like. They came out with a bunch of them. Like it's like a, it's like all the way up to here, I think, when I, when I had them all done before they got eaten. So, so it makes like a whole, like a whole bottom layer and a half, like sort of a second layer. So, they are really good. I had people compliment me on them and say they love them. They were delicious. So, they were a big hit, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you made this recipe yourself, tell me, tell me what you think of it. Um, if you like it or not, but it, they are so, so good. I'm going to put these back in the fridge. I'm going to put some foil on them, put them back in the fridge, and um, take them to church for tomorrow night. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.